One of the best things about WordPress is that it's open source software, which means that it's freely available for anyone to create websites and sell them to clients. All the tools you need for this course are also freely available, as long as you have a computer and internet access. Let's take a look. In this video, you'll learn a few different options for the tools needed to complete this course. You probably already have most of them, and the rest can be obtained easily, inexpensively, or for free. By the end, you'll have everything you need in one place to complete the course and create a WordPress website business of your own. First, you'll need a computer with internet access. This could be a Windows machine or a Mac, and while we'll be doing a lot of our website development offline using a local environment, you'll also need internet access. We will be using the World Wide Web to download the tools and resources needed to build a complete business, as well as to develop and present websites live on the internet. On your computer, you'll need a modern browser that delivers websites and connects to the internet using the latest protocols. I recommend having both Mozilla Firefox, as I'm showing here, and Google Chrome installed, as we will be using each with some of our specific tools. Safari on the Mac is also a good modern browser. While Internet Explorer for Windows is nice to have for testing your final websites as a part of your process, to make sure your sites work on all devices and browsers, we won't be using it for website development itself. Your computer most likely has a text editor included in the operating system, like Notepad on Windows and TextEdit on the Mac. You can use these, but there are also some free code editors you can use that make it a little easier to read the files we'll be editing. These code editors use syntax highlighting and monitor code formatting for this purpose. Check out Notepad++ for Windows, Text Wrangler for the Mac, and Atom on both platforms. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and we'll use one of these programs to upload and download files from the internet. In our local environment, you can just use Windows Explorer, pictured here, or Finder on the Mac to transfer files to and from the local server on your computer, but within hosting programs and internet servers, you'll need to use an FTP program, and there are many free options. I recommend Fire FTP, which is an add-on for the Firefox browser, or FileZilla, a free program available for Windows or Mac. And finally, we'll need some way to optimize and format pictures, graphics, and all kinds of images for delivery on the web. Because we want our websites to load fast, you'll be learning how to size images and compress them properly. So you'll need an image editing program like Adobe Photoshop. I prefer Photoshop, but it does cost money. You can get it for $19.95 a month at this time. But if you don't already have Photoshop, there are many free options, including Apple Photos on the Mac, iPicky.com is a great web-based photo editor, GIMP is a long-time free competitor to Adobe Photoshop, Google Photos, which used to be Google Picasa, Pixlr is another good one based on the web, Photor is a browser-based photo editor, and On One Effects has a free version that is excellent. So to recap, you've hopefully paused the video a few times and downloaded or found the tools you need on your computer. If not, go ahead and review the info we've covered to get yourself set up and ready to create your website business. Next, we'll be delving deeper into the specifics of what you'll be learning in this course. We'll also go over some of the business tools you can use for managing invoices, taking payments, and keeping up with the latest in WordPress and the web design industry. See you there.